Nothing like a fresh start with a fresh new look. Quinton Croft with Baker Cosmetics is helping us glow in 2023. And we have to have Savvy here so you can help us demo as well. well she was such a good model last time. <laughs> the best. <laughs> Nobody better. Quinton, your products are truly some of my very, very favorites. I always tell Quinton she has the only blush that I ever want to wear. I'm currently out. This isn't hers, and I can't wait to get back to my favorite stuff. <laughs> I know. They just restocked. We've been sold out for months. But they're here, and they're here to stay. So we have three colors, and we'll be going over that. But what I wanted to talk about first is in the new year, we want to make sure that our skin is nice and fresh. And what we're seeing on TikTok, what the current trends are, is a really nice, dewy, glowy face. So I wanted to share my favorite base face products before we get into how to take that glow to the next level. Yes, please, because January is hard. Oh. Your skin is dry, dull. Yes. So what, what so, do we start with? First, get your skincare routine on point, and then you want to make sure that you allow your skincare to set for about 30 minutes to an hour before you go in with your makeup. So I love the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is great, especially if you need your makeup to last all day. Yes. Say, you know, you're on camera. <laughs> I need that. This is great. It works for almost all skin types. Then for a really glowy face, I love the IT Cosmetic CC Cream with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It doesn't settle. It's great for women over 30. I'm actually wearing all of those products today. So and when you then, say it doesn't settle, you mean it doesn't oh, get in the it's, creases? It's not going to crease because it's a thinner formula. It doesn't have too much um, pigment to it where it's not super, super opaque. The opacity is a little bit less, so it's going to give you a really nice radiant glow. That is exactly yeah. what I need. Okay. Yeah. No, it's beautiful for an under eye concealer. And then um, for setting products, just kind of depending on your skin type, I love Urban Decay All Nighter. I love MAC Fix Plus if you want a dewy finish or if you run oily, 100% grab a neutral setting powder. And this is my favorite from Ben Nye. It works all day. This is like, I wear it when I do special effects makeup. It it lasts. That is, and it's super inexpensive. And too. that's a trusted, well-known yeah. brand as well. Oh, yes. Okay. In fact, I think Disney only uses Ben Nye at the parks for their artists. Oh, well, there you go. Put that on the list to yeah. grab. Okay, so what <laughs> happens after okay, we've so done that Okay, so after we get our base on, we want to bring our cheeks to the next level, and so that's where these come in. Um, these are my full face glow palettes that I designed to be worn on your cheek, eye, all over your face to give you that really full face glow, and that's what you love about it, right? My favorite. So we have three colors, Glowing 2.0, Radiant, and Dazzling. Um, this is going to be light to medium, medium to medium deep, and medium deep to dark skin tones. But any skin, any skin tone can really. And use Savvy, them. you're a big fan too. And yes. what was it you were saying when Quentin comes to her design of color? So I have purchased one of your palettes. I've absolutely loved it. It's the Bakeversary, but she's a master with colors. You can mix and match different colors to get exactly the right shade that you want. It doesn't necessarily, the palette that I have doesn't have purple, but you can ma mix the burgundy with the blue. Mm -hmm. And I just, you're a master of colors. You can create Thank whatever you. look you'd like with the colors in your palette. That is a big it. deal. And she's also a master at teaching. So you're yes. going to show us how to yes. apply that base. So I'm going to show it here. And if you miss out, you can always catch the replay or all of my products come with built-in tutorials. So just scan your QR code. Okay, Savvy, I'm going to let you pick. Which palette do you want to try? They're all so beautiful, and I love Which one all is the coming pinks. to you? This one has the most sparkles, so I think I'm going to grab okay. that one. Yes, <laughs> of course. so of this course. is yes. the brand new Glowing 2.0. This just launched on Wednesday. So we want to start with our bronzer um, because we can blend it out if we go a little bit too dark. So I'm going to show you how to apply it. Okay. I'm going to give you a brush. You're going to tap into that bronzer. And we here we can take this. I think bronzer and blush off. can be the trickiest too, knowing where to put it on for on right? your face. And look at how beautiful this big mirror is. It's a game changer when you're getting ready, especially on the go. Yes. To have a mirror that you can see. Well, and you in. have all you need in one spot. That was like I didn't want people to have to pull out a bunch of products. So here we go. You're gonna think of the number three or the letter E when you're applying your bronzer, coming around the edges of the face, starting at the high point right there and very lightly blending forward, yes. And you don't want it to come down too low. You did that perfectly. So we want to start at the hairline and at the back of the face and blend forward so we're not concentrating too much product here and having to blend that out. 
that can drag your face That's down. The mistake, too, yes. That a we lot of all people make. start going here. You want to go in back here and blend forward, and then you'll finish off this number three or letter E by coming down under the jawline. Look how her and just giving just a popped. really nice glow. You can come down onto the neck too. Um, which is always a good help if your foundation is a little bit too dark, just throw a little bronzer on your neck. This is the perfect color too. Isn't it, it blends gorgeous? so well. It's gorgeous. So like, see the difference already. Yes. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of blush now. I'm gonna show you my favorite way to do blush. Okay. So for blush, you want a nice little tapered brush. Sometimes they're kind of angled, but I love a good little taper. You get a little bit of a better blend. You're gonna mix this blush with this highlighter, kind of go back and forth. To add the glitter. Okay, and, and then, then as we wrap up, extra. let's see where on yes. the face you put that. Right here, don't smile though, okay? Because when we <laughs> smile, what happens, go ahead and smile. This skin is gonna move up, and then when you drop your smile, it's gonna move down from where you thought it was, so it'll actually drag your face So down. that is how to put it on that perfect spot. Yes. And like Quentin said, you can hop online, you can go over these tips and tricks again. So there they are for you, foolproof. And you can use code GOODTHINGS for 15% off at Bake Cosmetics. Just hop online, follow her, DM her with any questions. That totally changed right? the game. Look that, at that cheekbone is perfection. Oh, we love when you're here. So informative. I love being here. Thank you so I much for having me. I love those. Savvy, you look beautiful.